Hello and welcome to day one of our Greta Dungarees sewing tutorial. The Greta Dungarees are an easy fitting yet smart pair of everyday overalls. When I designed them, I wanted to create the perfect garment for when I'm working away in my sewing studio. Because of the wraparound waist, they are super comfy and easy to fit on a variety of body shapes. I included extra deep pockets in the design to keep them utilitarian. I decided to make them free from any zips, buttons or clips because I love the simplicity of smooth lines. Today we will be laying the groundwork by measuring ourselves and cutting out the pattern. To prepare, you will need to have either bought the printed version of the Greta Dungarees sewing pattern or printed out the PDF version at home and stuck the A4 pieces of paper together. Once you have the pattern, we need to start by working out what size you are going to make. Measure your hips using a tape measure. Your hip line is the widest point of your booty. Make sure the tape measure is parallel to the floor all the way around. Once you have your hip measurement, refer to our size chart and see which size you are closest to. If you are between sizes, check the finished garment measurement chart and decide if you would like it slightly looser or tighter on the hips. My hips are 100 centimeters, so I'm going to make a size 10 to make sure I have enough room. All right, all right, all right. We use the hip measurement rather than the waist or bust measurement because both the waist and bust areas of this garment can be adjusted to fit. You can decide on the length of the shoulder straps once the garment is nearly finished, which allows for different bust sizes and shapes. The Greta Dungarees have a waist strap, which means you can tie it to fit you exactly on the waist as you like. Our patterns are drafted for an average height of 5 foot 5 or 164 centimetres tall with a 78 centimetre inside leg. If you are shorter or taller than this, please use the lengthen and shorten lines to adjust the pattern length of the crotch and inside leg. Side note, it's always a good idea to twirl a pattern in cheap or reclaimed fabric to check you are happy with the fit before you cut into any expensive fabric. I'm not going to do that today because I already know this fit of the pattern works for me, but it's a good idea to bear in mind for future reference. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, great. Once you've decided on your size using the key on the pattern, you can begin by cutting out all the way around each of the pieces following the dotted line. This pattern already has 1.5 centimeter seam allowance included, so no need to add on any extra. Great, now that we have them all cut out, I'll talk you through where each of the pieces go on the body so that you can visualize. This big piece, A, wraps around the whole leg and goes all the way up the back. This piece, B, makes the front bib, which sits across the chest here. Then C, D and E combine to create the pocket, which sits on the side of the hips here. F is the waist strap, which comes out the pocket and wraps around. You have a choice whether you want to make a shorter or longer waist strap. G is the shoulder straps, which go across the shoulders. And then finally, H is the back facing, which tucks in the back here and gives you a really nice neat finish. Now we know what all of our pattern pieces are, it's time to choose our fabric. The Greta Dungarees look great made in a range of medium to heavyweight woven fabrics. Something like a corduroy, a denim, a linen, a chambray will all look beautiful. Today I'm going to make mine out of this incredible indigo circular denim from Italy. It's made from 100% recycled cotton fibers. All right, all right, all right. Once you have chosen your main fabric, you will also need a lightweight cotton fabric for the pocket and a tiny piece of fusible interfacing. It's also a good idea to have some really strong thread and if you want a specialist top stitching thread, which can be a contrasting color to your fabric. 
If you are using an overlocker, you will also need four cones of overlocker thread. However, don't worry, if you don't have an overlocker, this entire garment can be made on a regular sewing machine. Place your washed and ironed fabric flat on the table. Fold as per the lay plan, making sure your selvages are perfectly matched. Lay out all the pattern pieces on the lay plan, which are cut on the fold or in pairs. You can use my lay plan as a guide, but if you can see a better way of jigsawing the pieces together with the width of fabric that you have, go for it. All that you have to remember is that your grain lines, which are the arrows, are all lined up parallel with the edge of the fabric, which is the selvage. Once you've got that, we're ready to cut out. You can either pin your pieces or use pattern weights and simply lay them on top of the pattern and then cut around. No need to chalk or anything. Cut carefully around the shapes, making sure you mark all the notches and drill holes. I use a bradle to do this. Then unfold the fabric and cut out any remaining pieces that you just need one of. Now pin and cut out the front pocket on a separate piece of folded cotton fabric. Now that you're all cut out, the last thing we need to do today is just take a tiny scrap of iron-on interfacing and place it on the bottom of the point of the pocket. Following the manufacturer's guide, just give it a little press so that it sticks down. This reinforces the bottom of the pocket so that over the years, as you keep putting your hand in and out, it will stay strong and won't give way. That's day one complete. Now we're all cut out. Tomorrow we're ready to start sewing. See you there.